Okay, so I'm making landscape lights, and I thought you might be interested in seeing how I'm going about doing that. Here's the ceramic bits. I'll show you how I made those. Oh, and I want to point out, and I made the pieces separately, so if one was funky or something didn't look right, I didn't ruin the whole piece, but I'll glaze them, I set them, actually I fired them this way, and they, they glaze together. So. Okay, so I've gotten all these sprayed, and now the last thing I want to do is put a little bit of white about the rim here, and I'm not going to worry about the overspray on the inside. It'll be inside the jar, you won't see it. I just want to have one last shot here at a clean, clean white edge. This project had to start with the non-ceramic pieces so we can figure out how to make things fit. So the things I had to decide on is the jar, because I want to make sure that it'll fit. And even though small mouth jars are relatively standard, the height of the threads are sometimes different. So I wanted to get the actual jar 
Did a quick Amazon for replacement LED landscape lights. They came up with these. And then these require a T10 socket. So again, Amazon to the rescue. Get these little T10 sockets, like for a, uh, like they go in like dashboards and whatnot. And the bulb just pushes in. So, we need to make this hole fit that. We need to make the jar fit this. And I needed to pick out pipe so I can size it and then we're going to seal that on there. So I went out in the backyard, found some pipe that I just happened to have and cut it into pieces. And now we're getting to assembly. The wires are nowhere near long enough. So, and we're going to be using one of these connectors. I am telling you, I love these. They also make them where you have two separate little barrels, one for each wire. Hate that. But these just clip on. I'll show you, in fact. Just clip on like this. Now this goes to your light bulb, it's going to go inside, and this just clips on to your landscape lighting. I'm anticipating ground level to be right about here, just a little under where the wire comes out. So this will be in the dirt. I might pour a tiny bit of concrete around it, we'll see. I just didn't want dirt to get up there, so I 3D printed, well, i got to clean up the edge of that pipe, but these will pop in and that'll keep the dirt from going up the pipe. 